And that's the second video. And uh, for this video, we will make this cardigan part. And you will need an elastic band for this. At first, uh, I thought like, uh, I wish I didn't use this elastic band, but uh, now I like it. Really. Because I thought like that, um, when I open my arms, it will just uh, go like that and look bad, but it's not. It's not as I expe expected, okay? That's um, when you uh, make like that, as you can see, there is no opening. So I like this one better because uh, for the other one, I didn't use any elastic band. And I made short sleeves, but I uh, explain you uh, how to make them longer. If you want, you can make it longer too, of course. And if you want, you can keep going, make a dress um, with same pattern. And if you made one of them, please don't forget to share it with me. Since crochet is my Instagram address, and you can tag me. Uh, if you like this sweater, please don't forget to share it with your friends, okay? Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. If you are ready, we can start now. Before starting the blues yoke, uh, I will uh, work around the elastic band like that and I cut it and uh, sew it from here. You can use something like that too if you have. If you uh, don't have any of them, you, you don't have to use them. I didn't use one of these uh, for my other uh, sweater. But this time I will try uh, to make uh, my first single crochets around this one and you can start anywhere I could start from here now uh, we will work in an octagonal shape so um, I'm not I didn't make my decision actually I could use 17 uh, or 18 for this octagonal shape. I can make 17, 17, 17 and it makes, let me see, 136. And if I use 18, uh, I will need 144. But I'm not sure about that. I will just make my single crochets around this um, elastic band and if it's good I will keep going with 136 if it's not if this um, if I could see this uh, elastic band um, I will keep going and make it 144 and now I made a slip knot grab this yarn and make a single crochet insert your hook from uh, under uh, this elastic band grab the yarn make a single crochet If you have this kind of elastic band, you can make single crochets around them too. I could show you with a little sample. Okay. Just make your single crochets longer.
okay work with longer single crochets I will keep going like that and when I turn back I will give you the magic numbers <laughs> see you I made 144 uh, single crochets and that's good for me uh, if you want to make it bigger or smaller you can just um, make 20 uh, single crochets for um, eight times or 15 single crochets for eight times you can adjust it like that uh, only important thing is here it must be divided by eight and uh, don't make this too tight okay Uh, I will insert from the first stitch, but I will only use back loop. That's the front loop, that's the back loop. Insert into this back loop, join with a slip stitch. Chain 3 into the next stitch, make a double crochet. Next stitch, make a double crochet, use only back loops. I will make 17 double crochets. Count this one too. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. By the way, if you don't want to use an elastic uh, band, you can just uh, make 144 chains and start with double crochets. Don't make this single crochet row. That's 17. And into the next stitch, put two double crochets. I will repeat this eight times. If you want, you can put a stitch marker into this second stitch here. And with this way, you don't have to count your stitches every time for every row. Three, four, and seventeen. Into the next stitch, put two. And put a stitch marker into the second stitch. And repeat this, make 17 double crochets, make two double crochets into next row, next stitch, sorry. Turn around, see you at the end. I'm almost at the end, I will put one, two into this last stitch and Insert into this third chain, join with a slip stitch. Chain 3. Starting from the next. Make double crochets. And when I reach here, into this uh, second stitch I will put two double crochets 
and put the stitch marker into the second stitch again. I'm not worrying about this uh, oxygen shape because uh, uh, you cannot see it. There will be one more part uh, totally covered here. If you are worried about it, um, you can put this stitch marker into this first stitch here. For the next row, you can make the increase from here. For the next row, you can make the increase from the second stitch. You can make these increases uh, one row into first stitch, second row into uh, second stitch. Okay, and with this way, uh, you could have more round shape. I don't mind it. So I will keep uh, making into the second stitch. And I'm here again into the second stitch. Oops, I will put two. And let me count between these two stitch markers. I have nineteen. Uh, stitch right now don't count these two stitches and um, I will keep repeating this for a few more rows I'm not sure how many rows I will make it um, just make it a little bigger uh, when I turn back I will give you the measurements see you there by the way I forgot the, the stitch marker here don't forget you will make um, two double crochets into this last stitch still. okay keep going see ya hi again i made 18 rows with double crochets and it's almost seven inches long right now 17 centimeters if we look from here it's 18 And it's a little more than a uh, seven inch long. And it's time to separate the arm spaces. Uh, I have 288 uh, stitches right now. I will leave 90 stitches for the um, back side and the front sides. Okay, 90 and 90 is uh, 180 totally. And for the arms, uh, I have uh, 108 stitches left, uh, divide by 2, uh, 52. I will leave 52 stitches for one sleeve. Uh, if you are uh, bigger sizes, uh, than large size you can make a few more rows if you want um, and if you make them you will have more stitches of course and uh, you can divide it like uh, you can wear this uh, right now find the almost right places for the sleeves and uh, just count your stitch. Uh, I count my stitch. I put some stitch markers the places where I may want to make my sleeves holes. Uh, and then count this stitch. I found 56. And um, make some calculations. Then uh, with this uh, calculation, I could leave 88 for front parts and back parts. I want to make 90 for the front and back. And I calculated again with this uh, way. I must leave 54 and 54 for the sleeves. You can just find your own numbers like that. Okay. 
and now. I will directly start from here uh, for the arms. Actually, I can go back one stitch. It's not necessary. Of course, you don't have to make this. I just want to start from here. Insert into this last stitch you made. I make a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will leave. Uh, I will make ten uh, chains. You can change this one too. If you have bigger or smaller arms than I have, um, you can make them longer or shorter. It's up to you. Now skip one, two, count fifty four. Count 54 and into the 55th stitch, make a double crochet, make 89 more. Make your double crochets, I see at the end. I want to make a correction here, okay? First make three chains, then make ten more chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These three chains are first double crochet, then we have ten chains. Okay? Um that's all. I complete ninety double crochets and then chain ten. Skip 54, I put the stitch marker into the 54th stitch. Starting from the next stitch, I will make 90, sorry, 89 uh, double crochets. And these three chains will be our uh, last double crochet. Make our double crochet, see you at the end. I complete 89 double crochets now. I will join from this third chain. Chain 3 and insert into these chains. Make double crochets. Put one double crochet. By the way, uh, that's the right time to um, wear and try this just try it and if you uh, think it's not okay for you um, if it's tight uh, you can make more rows maybe or you can make more chains or you can leave more space for the arms a few more stitches maybe you can try one of these um, things. Don't count this one. It's nine. I will make one more. And that's my first stitch. Don't miss this. Make your 90 double crochets. Then I'll see you. I'm here now and again I will make 10 double crochets. Four, 
five, six, nine. And it's so hard to find the last chain. And starting from the first one, make your double crochets again. I'm at the end and I will join from the third chain. Chain three and make your double crochet starting from here. I will not make any increase or decrease. Um, I will just keep making my double crochets. I have uh, 200 double crochets right now and uh, I'm not sure how many rows I will make. I will just make them and uh, give you the measurements later. I made it a little longer. I will give you the measurements. It's 18 and a half inch long. 47 centimeters. You can make it as long as you want, of course. Now I will make the uh, ribbing. For the ribbing, uh, for the other uh, sweater, I used uh, single crochets. But now I want to use half double crochets. Chain 8. I think that's enough. Maybe I can make one more chain and uh, I will have eight half double crochets. Yarn over. Skip the first one. Insert into the next back bump. Okay, here. Grab the yarn. Yarn over and pull through. Pull through. Make your half double crochets. That's the last one. Okay, don't forget this. Let me check. It's eight. Okay. Now, that's the stitch uh, I started. That's the next stitch. Insert into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through. Okay. Join with a slip stitch. Then make two more slip stitches. One, two, turn, yarn over, we will make half double crochets again, but we will use back loops. One, two, you see that's front loop and back loop. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one, turn. Starting from this first stitch, make the same things. One, use back loops, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and that's eight. Don't miss this one. It could be a little hard to see. But that's the last stitch I made slip stitch insert into the next one okay this is the first empty uh, stitch insert make a slip stitch then make two more slip stitches that means we are using one two three uh, stitch for two rows okay one and two turn one two three four five six seven eight chain one turn one two three four five six seven and eight that's the first empty space make a slip stitch then make two more turn and repeat this I will make this um, ribbing uh, for all the way along and when we turn back here uh, we will join it. I'll see you there. I almost finished the ribbing but I changed a, a few things and I want to show you them first. I changed my crochet hook. I use 3.5 millimeter uh, for here because it looks better with this way it could be a little loose uh, if i keep going with four millimeter but you don't have to use a smaller hook of course and then um, i want to show you four five six seven and only for this last stitch here I take both loops insert both loops make a half double crochet chain one turn and insert only back loop again just for this row okay if we uh, give the numbers of this row if that's one the row one only for row one we will use um both loops in the end and for the next row we will use back loops eight one two three turn and make eight more half double crochets Take both loops again and for here I use only back loops you can see it looks it not look 
so good with this way. So starting from here, I start to use both loops. Now, now that was our last row. Okay. Just hold them together. We will join them from the back side. Just leave this loop, insert both loops, grab this loop, pull through. Make a chain, insert both loops, back loop only. Make a slip stitch. Both loops, back loop only. And keep going like that. Don't make the slip stitch too tight. I think I made them too tight, but I can fix it if I don't like it. Take both loops, back loop, and for the last time, both loops, back loop. You can make one more chain and cut this yarn and it looks good like that. Now we can make the um, sleeves. I made one of these sleeves and I just made 14 rows. I don't want to make it so long, it's just uh, reaching here. If you want, you can make it longer, of course. And um, I started uh, from this back side. Okay, I started from here. Just join here. Then uh, keep going like that. Always go with the same way, of course. Now for this one, I will start from here again, but go this way, go like that, because we are always using same direction as you know. For here, join from this side, double crochet, here, make a double crochet. Then make four decreases. I will show you how to make it in a few seconds. Okay, four decreases. Make one double crochet into this side double crochet. Then we will make our double crochets. I close the door because my daughter is talking with her friends so loudly but Mushwik was <laughs> outside and now he's uh, scratching the door. I will open the door now. For this one, insert here just a second. Okay, chain two, hi, and make a double crochet into, <laughs> just sit, okay, sit here, make a double, 
here and now we have this stitch we will use this stitch but um, that's the uh, stitch we made this double crochet okay actually that's our chain that's the joining point so that's the chain for the other side you will have a stitch here so it will be easier insert here and make a double crochet then put one double crochet into all the stitches you have I reach here I complete all the stitches and there is one more stitch as you see that's the stitch I made this double crochet here I'm putting one double crochet here that's not so important but if you don't make a double crochet here and just I could show you if you skip here and make a double crochet around this post it will be a um, huge space here so make one one around this side double crochet and now we will make decreases I have 10 chains here but I will make a, I will use eight of them so skip this first one insert into the next sorry yarn over pull through two and leave it like that yarn over insert into the next stitch grab the yarn pull through two and there's three stitches on the hook yarn over pull through three make it one more time One more start for a double crochet pull through two leave it make it one more time and that's the last one now I'm here don't make anything here okay join from this first stitch the slip stitch chain two starting from the same place make your double crochets or you can just start with uh, chaining three and count uh, this one as a double crochet and make the next one here you can use both way both methods as you like complete your double crochets when you reach here I will wait for you and I'm here again I will make two decreases one two and join from the first stitch chain two and starting from the first stitch I will make double crochets and starting from here I will not make any uh, uh, decreases when I complete all of them uh, I will make this ribbing as I showed you before okay uh, you will uh, join from this stitch and then skip two more with um, slip stitch and make uh, your uh, half double crochets I made eight half double crochets again and I used 3.5 millimeter hook again in the end um, there is four stitches left instead of three 
I could show you how to make that. Okay, just complete all of them. I will uh, meet you here. I made 14 rows totally, of course, and make this ribbing. And here I have one, two, three, four stitches left. You could have more or less if you start with different numbers, of course. I will make it like that. I want to make here a little tighter than here. So I will skip one here. Don't make anything here. Into the next stitch, make a slip stitch and make two more slip stitches. Okay. Then turn, finish the row. Hold it like that. That's the wrong side of our work. And I will join them like I do before. Take the back loop. Take both loops, back loop and make a slip stitch. Just draw in here and then we will attach the other part. And now uh, for the final, we will uh, attach these two parts together. That's the back side and that's the back side. Uh, I will start to att attaching from here. And as you know, we started 153 stitch uh, chains for this one and 144 uh, uh, single crochets for this one. So we have nine more stitches here. Time to time, I will um, use two uh, stitches together here. I will show you now. Insert from this chain and insert into this loop here. As you know, we leave a loop for the attaching before. Make a chain, insert in the same place and make a single crochet. Insert here and here. And I'm hiding this tail too. Make a single crochet. I will keep going like that. Uh, when I made uh, 16 or maybe 18 single crochets, I didn't calculate the exact numbers. So I will make it like that. Make maybe 16 uh, single crochets. Then make a single crochet here. Then insert into the next one. So I should and same place here. Okay. Same place I used. Make one more single crochet. Then starting from the next.
just keep going make 16 more then for the next make a single crochet using these loops then use the next loop and the same loop again and make one more single crochet with this way or uh, if you want you can just directly skip one and use the other one okay you can make it like that too but I will make but I will use this way and uh, just uh, turn around I'll see you there I complete this row to time to time I made maybe six uh, single crochets then um, skip uh, or decrease make a decrease I can call it like that too and uh, finish it as you see it's not important where to where, where you made this uh, decreases just make it okay now that's the last row actually for the other one I finish here but I want to make one more row chain one insert same stitch make a slip stitch chain one insert next stitch make a slip stitch chain one insert next stitch make a slip stitch and I will make one chain and slip stitch just turn around with this way I reach to the end I'm making last chain and join from this first stitch with a slip stitch chain one I will hide this yarn That's all. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Series Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website and Pinterest address too. You can reach me there. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.